There's so many issues we don't know if we're going to solve them, but we still feel we have to make our best effort, and I certainly think that's true of the fate of the planet. Everybody can play a role in changing the narrative of the future and changing how we think and responding to the critical issue of climate change today. I don't think that future generations are going to be able to ignore the issues the way past generations have. It's a time where our values as human beings can really come into focus. We need something to bring the attention of the world to climate change. That's what the purpose of our prize is. The Rose Walters Prize is given each year at Dickinson College to recognize an individual or an organization for the environmental activism work that they've done. I think it's very important that the human population understands the impact that they are having on not only the climate, but our environment. If we don't really address it in a major way soon, it may be too late. The recipient uh, of the Rose Walters Prize receives $100,000. And our hope is that with those resources, the individual is going to be able to continue their work and amplify it in ways that they'll be able to get more attention for what they're doing. So far, we've selected individuals who have either dedicated their lives or their job has given them the platform to address these issues with the public. Through this award, what it does is it brings these inspiring people to our campus for a two or three day residency. And that really gives a chance for our students to interact with these people in small group settings, sometimes one-on-one. -on -one. It's a very personalized experience. They go and visit classrooms and programs. You know, you just get to ask them questions for an hour of their time, it's just you and them. And so our students are able to learn very directly from these people about how does one become an effective advocate for whatever the issue is that they're working on. If I'm looking at it from like an economic social justice point of view, they're looking at it from a scientific point of view that helps inform and broaden the scope of my understanding for climate change. And that's a very Dickinsonian liberal arts sort of experience. What you guys are particularly doing is way out in front of a lot of people. I think by all accounts, Dickinson is right in the thick of this, that you know, when people like the Sierra Club rank schools, Dickinson always comes out near the top. The student body is really gung-ho to figure out how to save the planet, how to address uh, climate change. I'm really excited to see what you're doing here at Dickinson. You're reshaping the way the leaders of tomorrow are thinking about their future and what they can do and what role they can play. I think we owe it to the future generations to clean up the mess our generation and past generations have created. So I hope the prize teaches people many elements of what's happening in our world due to our presence here. But the world doesn't feel yet in, in any major way that this is urgent. And it is.